Python generators. So Python generators are special Python functions that actually return a lazy iterator. What is a lazy iterator? Well, it's an iterator that is only, uh, uh, the next item is only created when it is called. Now, what this means is, is it's extremely memory efficient, meaning you're, uh, when you're iterating through a generator, it'll just call each item one by one by one only when you need it, rather than say a range, which will create an entire list of values right when it's first instantiated. So let's look at an example here about generators and how they're different from regular functions. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually just go ahead and create a generator. Now, another interesting thing about generator is two things. One is it uses the keyword yield instead of return like a regular function. And two is this function will actually, or this generator will actually remember its state for you. And so what that means is, is you know, normal functions, you run them once and it's kind of like you're starting from scratch every single time you call the function. However, with generators, it's gonna remember where you were previously with your generator and it's gonna continue where you left off. And so here, for example, I'm saying def my generator, right here, it looks like a regular function, x equals one regular function, and then print printed first. And that's just like a regular function. However, here yield x, what that's gonna do is it's going to uh, return back to me x, but it's also gonna remember where it was in its place. And so let me go ahead and instantiate this. And now I'm actually gonna create a variable with my generator. So I'm gonna say my generator, call it out. And so now G is gonna be my generator, which again is that lazy iterable that we're gonna go through. And so here, what I'm gonna do is I could say uh, next G. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me the next item within this iterable. And because we haven't started anywhere, it's gonna give me X equals one. So there we go, printed first. And you can see here that it stopped after this code, which is really interesting. It didn't run any of these. However, if I call next again, it's gonna give me printed second. And if I call next again, it's gonna give me uh, the third one, which is printed last. And then the next thing that we'll do is let's go ahead and create our generator one more time. And I'm going to say, in fact, I wanna add another one. And I'm gonna say for, uh, we'll call it item ng print item and then there you go so each different item in g shows uh the three different yield statements and so those are the ones that we expected there now if you try going past where your generator uh, has already been generated you're going to get an error because we just ran that for loop we iterated through all three items of the generator and then we tried calling next one more time well there is no more yield up here so we're going to get a stop iteration error okay so the other interesting thing is you can actually create an infinite loop pretty easily or very easily with a generator. And so here I'm calling my generator again, I'm setting X equals to zero, and then I'm saying while true. And this is the Pythonic way to basically say do forever. And then yield X, meaning it's gonna give me back what X equals. And I'm gonna uh, then incre increment X by one. So X equals zero, then one, then two, then three. And so if I were to run this, now if you wanted an infinite range with a for loop, well, you're gonna get yourself into trouble because you're gonna create a massive amount of numbers. But with the generator, you're only gonna generate one at a time, which is really nice, which makes it memory efficient. So again, I will take my generator and I'll put it into, inside of a variable. And then I'm gonna say next G. And then I'm gonna get zero, which is nice. It's exactly what I expected because X equals zero while true. Yep, and then yield X. And then let me go ahead and let's look at all the other ones that we get. We get one, two, three, four. So the really interesting thing to note here is that when I called this four, the zero, one, two, and three weren't stored in memory, meaning it only generated the four because it remembered where it was. So say for example, you're on um, a billion. Well, you, you don't wanna store zero through 900 million or whatever. 999 million, you only want that billionth number because that's the only one that you care about at the time. Well, this is when a generator comes in handy because then you're only gonna call and create that billionth number. You don't need the entire list beforehand. And so that is Python generators.